everybody, this is Al Mega Live from PAX East, and I'm here chill chilling with uh, Dean Allen Pitaco, Ritaco uh, of Becker College, the Dean of Becker College uh, for that matter. And this is actually the third uh, best ranked video game design school in the world. Not the country, folks, the world, and it's right out here in the Northeast. Now, can you tell us a little bit about the programs, Alan? Sure, thanks, Alan. Appreciate you interviewing us. Absolutely. We are ranked number three in the world because of all of the things that we do around production management, art, game programming, and game design. What our school does, we have around four, 450 to 500 students that are working on video games that are production quality and we're also working on games that are serious games such as things around like say your Fitbit watch getting biometric feedback opioid orally prevention apps that are targeting third and fourth graders but we also have you know the more traditional fun um, you know interactive games that the students are working on and which is the one of the programs you think is most popular within Becker so we're right now we're pretty spread across all of them but game design we have a lot of game designers so designers do everything right they build chairs they build airplanes but they're also the ones that are pulling together the artwork production management and in the programming skills all together and building the game oh. so that's that's kind of the big piece of the puzzle so you'll see designers who are artists as well as programmers and they're pulling their skills together to create a new game or to work on a game that's already in production and bring it to the next level. Understood. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so there's a lot of collaboration within the students. There's a lot of yeah. collaboration. The real, the real differentiator between Becker College and all the other schools and why we're ranked number three is we have something called Game Studio. And our Game Studio is all of our students go through that and are required to be on a production quality published game. Every single student go through this, so we have a mass number of students working on different games and all of our faculty are, are working working individually with the way industry works. Okay. So if you go to any any of the um, you know big tier ones, that's the way they work and run their game production. So our faculty, a lot of them worked in tier one and have worked on games like uh, Lord of the Rings um, oh, really? nice. and games like that, um, The Hobbit actually. And so they bring that type of production quality into the classroom and give them an understanding of how to you know, manage a game, how the art works, the production, and how to actually release code. Gotcha. You know, code release, and those are all important aspects. Uh, absolutely. I mean, coding is the future. Absolutely. I mean, my little girl is all about design. Yeah. I'm going to bring us some brochures about Becker. And uh, has there been any specific alumni, maybe, that, that, are, that are out there that came out of Becker that, that are known? Yeah, so uh, re really probably the, the biggest one in the last couple of years is Ryan Canyon. And actually, he has a startup that he's working on right now. And we have an incubator that we worked with in the city of Worcester and on, and on campus. And Ryan has released several games that's had um, I believe hundreds of thousands of downloads and he's moving forward with uh, trying to get funding for his his production quality indie games and of course we have other you know students who are going out and working in other indie places and tier ones that's, and how is the job market after here there's a Becker a help students you know and trying to get a job with so, with their skills afterwards yeah I mean we, we certainly have connections to industry where okay, students are, are um, you know maybe not necessarily placed because because I don't think there's any... It's place. not about placement. Yeah, about it's more about a connection and opportunity yeah. and maybe externships, internships. We do a lot of experiential learning. Oh, nice. I mean, that's a connection out to industry. An example of that would be what we're starting to work on with this opioid early prevention app. We're starting to kickstart that and, and see how we can get out into the community. And then maybe that turns into a more serious game. And you talk about how, how that works a bit? But that's very interesting and good for you guys doing that. Yeah, so, you know, one of our charters is not just just uh, creating video games, but it's around a well-rounded, robust education, right? So we want students to go out into the industry and be able to pivot and change as needed. We realize, you know, the way video games were created 30 years ago till today are have some similarities, but there's a big difference in the output and, and a big difference between the production quality on those. So you have artists who are working on a blade of grass where 30 years ago it may have been one individual. Yeah. You have a team of artists doing that today. So in 10 years from now, it's going to be XR, more AR, maybe holographic. So we're, we're setting them. In the hollow. Well, and we are too, and we're, we're, we're trying to be cutting edge and bleeding edge. And that's part of our agile mindset of having students be, you know, capable of working across 
across the industry in any type of environment. What, having an entrepreneurial mindset, right? Exactly. Having a, a uh, empathy, understanding why empathy is so important because making a video game is about targeting an audience and, un and making it so that it's quality, yes, but also the why. Why do people want to play this yeah, game? Create that community out of that. Yeah, thing. yeah, and, and that's, a, that's a big piece of what we do. So in, in the Agile mindset, which our students are getting outside of our curriculum, but also it's infused into the game design curriculum, they're, they're working you know, around empathy, social emotional intelligence, divergent thinking, and that, again, the entrepreneurial mindset of <clears throat> how do I get out to industry and make the best connection? Yes. How do I, I tell the students all the time, it's not just smarts of making a game, it's soft skills and being able to get out into the workforce. Absolutely. So you're teaching these people skills that you know I think a lot of these gamers lack nowadays. Because you know it's, it's a different generation. It is a different generation. Our generation, we got out and we shook hands, yeah. and, and that's what we're introducing. We, those four pillars yeah. that I talked about: that social emotional intelligence, that divergent yeah. thinking, that entrepreneurial mindset, and really the key piece of that is the empathy piece. Because empathy connects all those together. We talk about those in our games, right? How do you build a game that's going to be quality, yes, but again, is going to bring that to the forefront so that people are interested in it. If you make a game that you're the only one that's interested in playing, mm -hmm. did you use a lot of empathy exactly, in creating no. it? No, probably not. It's great that you made a game and you've learned a skill, but that skill, we want to give a life, life learned lesson so that you can be nimble, you can pivot. Look at, you know, we know that this generation of students is going to have five or six careers in different jobs, variety in that job market in the next 25, 30 plus years. Mm -hmm. So we're setting them up to be lifelong learners. I tell students all the time that I want them to be a thinker and not a believer. Absolutely. I want them to really understand, you know, it's not about who, what, when, it's about why. People don't follow ideas, they follow leaders. Yes. So be, we want you to be a leader out in the industry and that's what, why we're ranked number three in the world. You got me pumped up over here. You gotta believe it. <laughs> well, I got the best faculty in the world. Exactly. I have a large student base. We have great projects that we work with. We have Mass Digi, which is a Mass Digital Games Institute, right on our campus, wow. which is our community outreach to businesses in the New England area. We it. have all of the pillars of uh, um, between esports, game players, and also the creation of the games. So we have a closed gap of an ecosystem of the video game environment. You hear, and all right, you hear this, folks? This is amazing. And uh, about admissions, when does the yeah. admissions process start? So admissions process, right now, we're still enrolling for the fall. Okay. And um, we're also enrolling for 2020 at this point as well. Admissions is here at PAX, which we're excited to have them here. Awesome. And um, please submit a... Um, admissions application at any time. If they want to connect with me, they can talk to me or the admissions team. And you know, our, our students do very well because we're a top ranked school, but we're, we, we look for a very diverse student base because we're a diverse world. Yes, we are. Yes, we are. And uh, with that, where can people look up information about Becker? So take a look at www.becker.edu. You'll go right to our main webpage and you will see all of the information on admissions. There's one click to admissions. You can look me up at alan.ritaco at becker.edu if you want to email me. And I'd be happy to talk to you. Alan, thank you so much for your time. Al, great awesome. Thank the, you. The, the, the school sounds fantastic. I'm thank definitely going to suggest this to my daughter because I don't want her going far away from daddy. You know? Anyway, with that, thank you again. Thank you, sir. Here's our mega out from PAX East.